certain maidens be looked at for nothing, no how. Contrary wise, if you think we're alive, you ought to address us by name. You're probably a little strong, and I can't help to say the word. Tweedledum and Tweedledee agreed to have plans, for Tweedledum and Tweedledee had spoiled the next new battle. It isn't so, no how. Contrary wise, if it was so, it might be. And if it were so, it would be. But as it is in an name, that's logic. But I did go to your name. Didn't tell me the way to the croquet ground. No, how contrary wise. Anyway, you've become law. The first thing in a visit is to say, how do you do? And shake and shake and how do you do? And shake and state your name and place. That's enough for one day. Oh, I hope you're not tired. No, Alan, thank you for asking. So much obliged. Do you like poetry? Yes, but I really must be going. Oh, let's see the wall. The walrus and the carpenter were walking close at hand. They wept like anything to see. Such quantities of sand. If this were only cleared away, they said it would be grand. If it's very long, would you please? Shh. If seven maids and seven moths swept for half a year, do you suppose, the walrus said, that they could get it here? I doubt it, said the carpenter, and shed a bitter tear. The time has come, the walrus said, to talk of many things, of shoes and ships and sealing wax. Of cabbages and kings. And why the sea is boiling hot and where the pigs have wigs. Thank you very much. It was lovely. It's not finished yet. It will finish some other time. No, how? Contrary wise. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't about a real walrus. Maybe it's all part of your dream. Well, I'm not dreaming. Then maybe we are, and you're not real at all. If we should wake up, you'd go bang! Just like a candle. <laughs> Do you see that? 